Hi, fourth graders. Today, I'm going to teach you about your times table for the number 11. Do you remember how we studied our tens and we called them our decade facts because a decade is 10 years? Well, one strategy that you can use for your 11s is thinking about it as a decade fact plus one more set. In other words, you could multiply the number by 10 and then add one more set. So let's look at this one, 12 times 11. I could think of 12 times 11 as being 12 times 10, or my decade fact, and 12 times 10, I know because all I have to do is pop a zero on the end. So 12 times 10 is 120, and now I'm gonna add one more set. So I've got 120, and then I do 120 plus 12 more, and I get 132. So in other words, 12 times 11 is 132. Now I have a poem to go along with this strategy. This poem comes from our math curriculum. It's called Easy 11 by Eileen Fisher, illustrated by Tyson Smith. Easy 11. If 11 times a number is what you need to get, just multiply by 10 and add another set. What's 11 times five? It's 10 times five plus another set of five. So we can think of our decade fact first, 10 times five is 50, and then add one more set, add five, and that gets us 55. What is 11 times nine? Well, it's 10 times nine, which is 90, plus add one more set. So add nine more and I get 99. Here's a challenge. What is 11 times 20? Whoa, so let's think of 20 times 10, which would be 200, and then I add 20 more. So it would be 220. What about 11 times 35? Well, I could take 35 times 10 and get 350, and then add 35 more and get 385. How did you do with those challenges? So maybe that decade plus one more set strategy really clicked for you, and that poem has just gotten you thinking, oh yeah, now I understand 11s. But if not, I've got one more strategy that I hope will help you, and it involves a little chant that will hopefully get stuck in your head. Now, before we begin, I do wanna knock out a couple of basic facts with our 11s. So let's think of 11 times zero first. Remember, any number times zero is zero. What about 11 times one? Well, any number times one is going to be that number. So 11 times one is 11. So we know that one too. But once we get into 11 times two, Here's where this chant will hopefully help you. 11 times two is 22. 11 times three is 33. 11 times four is 44. 11 times five is 55. 11 times six is 66. 11 times seven is 77. 11 times eight is 88. 11 times nine is 99. 11 times 10 is 10 to 10. That doesn't work. So that's where our strategy stops. But that chant will hopefully help you as you realize that 11 times two is 22. It's just the same number over again. Think of it as one times two and then one times two again. You've got two times one is two, two times one is two. We get 22. Now this strategy works all the way from your twos up to your nines, just remembering 33, 44, but what happens when you get to 11 times 10? Let's look. Here's 11 times 10. Do you remember our strategy for the tens? If you do, you remember that any number times 10 is just that number and then we pop a zero on the end. Here we go. So we know this one too. 11 times 10 is 110, which means that the only two equations that you really have to focus on are these. 11 times 11, and 11 times 12. Now 11 times 11 gives an answer that's actually a palindrome. Do you know what that is? A palindrome is something that is the same forwards and backwards. For example, the word race car is a palindrome. Look at that, do you see how it's spelled the same way forwards and backwards? R-A-C-E-C-A-R, R-A-C-E-C-A-R. -E cool, right? Well, the answer to 11 times 11 is also a palindrome. It's 121. 11 times 11 is 121. And then 11 times 12 is easy as 1, 2, 3. But you just have to scramble them up. 11 times 12 
is 132. Remember that you need to study these two more than all the others because these are probably the toughest ones that you'll have to memorize. Good luck studying your 11s, everybody. Bye.